Welcome back everyone, this is CNS Gaming. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So, we have another map to go over. I did the other map, so let's go over this map now. So this is Maypole, Maypole Farm. Not Maple, but Maypole Farm. 185 megabytes. It says, welcome to Maypole Farm. This is function, uh, functional Irish map that offers the vast amount of forestry as well as affordable farming with multiple farms spread around the map. I heard there was like seven farms or something. I was watching um, Rusty Money Gaming. He had a live video out on that. Um, spread out or play multiplayer. So this would be a very good multiplayer map. Seven different farms. That's pretty cool. Farm yards are fully customizable so you can demolish all sheds and barns. Cut all the hedges, trees, and remove all walls, fences, and gates. There are 128 fields, all include missions and seven farms. Yep, seven farms and contracts, I assume that they mean by missions. So, Giants, Covid White, Farmer Dead, Moondog, Hodge, Stee, Stew, Alien Jim, and I, I guess they're all the modders, so you guys can read through all of them. And again, make sure you guys are rating five stars on all mods. So let's get into the map and we will do a tour of it. All right, so this is where you spawned in at. I believe this is the shop area. Yeah, here is the wrench and over here is the shop. So we spawn in at the shop. First thing we're going to do is take a look at what equipment I, we own. So when we start out in new farm mode, this is what you get. So we got three small tractors. I really like this tractor. Not too many people use this. I really like this. Well, for like a starting tractor, I never really see it on a map, but yeah, I really like that tractor. We got a 314, a 5S145, and a 6105 here. We do have a Voltra 8750 large tractor, a well loader. Hmm. We have a truck, stone picker, subsoiler, we have a cedar tank, we have a two fertilizers, grassland equipment, mowers, tether, windrower, forage wagon, a baby baler, which is cool, we have two weights, a loading transport wagon, a silage fork, bale spike, a front loader, and a um, bale collector, it'll pick up 14 baby bales and make it into one bale pretty cool pretty cool so we don't actually own a cedar that's kind of weird we own a seed tank but no cedar so that's strange all right um let's see any productions do we own any productions any animals looks like we have a lot of barns there but no no productions no animals the last map we did it there was every production so this is what the map looks like tons of fields i think there's like 128 fields i think that's what it said seven different farm areas so that'll be cool to check out so we're right here this is a big big map i don't know if we're going to drive around the whole thing because it may take a decent amount of time looks like a pretty big map so actually let's just buy a truck we already have a truck but we'll buy one anyway because that's at the main farm so we'll buy a truck go for this guy because we went for the other one last time all right, so this is where your equipment is going to spawn whenever buying it. Let's turn this guy on. So where do we go to first? Um, I guess right behind to where we're at right now. Can we drive back there? doesn't look like it. So we'll swing around this way. Oh, here we go. So we'll drive back here. Looks like we have a cell point right there. Anything else back here? To our right. Oh, up here some more cell points. And another cell point and over here is the stone crusher uh, some I believe this is the map where you can remove all bushes trees well not all trees but you can remove bushes trees and the um, stone walls not sure how to do that Let's see if we come into cell mode build mode I guess first time you load into a map and go to build mode it's kind of slow at least on PS4 for me it is can we just come over here and demolish this? No. I'm not sure how to get rid of that, but you can do it. There's a gas station as well. Store. Um, what's that over here to the right? 
I actually watched Farm, or not Farm Sim, so I, um, shoot, what's his name? I can't think of your name, I'm sorry, uh, Rusty Money. I watched Rusty's live stream earlier this morning, so it's not like the first time seeing the map, but I didn't stay for too long since I've been working on my own couple videos. But here's the BGA. Um, yeah, not a bad little BGA here. So, got a bunker silo as well. Don't own it though, so you're gonna have to buy that. Come this way, so a lot of fields. Can't drive. Yeah, it's the left hand drive map. Pretty sure this is the Italy map. I don't know, I did both of the reviews back to back, so it's hard to remember. Everything's so spread out, which I like. Um, there's actually more stuff behind us. We might as well go. Look, one good thing is there's no collisions on the bushes, hedges. There are on the um, the stone walls, but not on the bushes or the light poles in the bush bushes, as I've heard from Rusty. So let's keep going this way. Definitely going to be a lot of crashes in this um, review. So if we keep heading this way, we should make it down here to where we're supposed to be going put up the little map here so I can kind of see so on our left there's something let's is this a road nope but there's a tree that's not a road so not really sure how to get back here we're just gonna keep heading this way right through these bushes here's a road look at that so here looks to be one of the farms and there's a cow barn here so I'm not sure if we own this let's take a look at what we own right off the jump so right off the bat all we own is this stuff up here so that's one two three four five six seven so there's all the farms we'll make sure we take a look so we're at one of the farms right now we may not drive to all of them we may just come down here and look around so got the manure Keep there for the cow barn that is just like the other map if you haven't watched the other map tour make sure you go watch that but it has the auto feed and a shed here this looks like sheep I would say sheep for right there um, here's another little shed area uh, not too bad of a shed fuel tank here not sure if that works or not but yeah, you put in your silage, straw, and hay here, and don't forget the mineral feed that goes right there, and then it'll auto feed, or you can, well I can't open it up, but there's a tipping point inside there, slurry over there, and manure on that side where the manure heap is. Here's another bunker silo down here, looks like some liquid tanks, and um, seed tank as well, or fertilizer tank I mean. Here's more sheds, there's chickens. I believe the chicken pens on here hold 600 chickens, which is crazy. More sheds and whatnot. A lot of sheds. Here's a silo. I assume once you purchase this land, all of this will become accessible. Here looks to be pigs. Another manure heap there. That's kind of cool. I like how the pig yard is. And then this may be horses. Um, I guess we'll head out this way. A lot of fields. Lots and lots of fields. Which is pretty cool. From the looks of them, they're really cheap. I think the most expensive piece of ground is a forestry area that's like 300000 We'll take a look at all that though. But yeah, most of the fields are like, these fields right here will give me like 40000 ish So if we come over here, there is another cell point back in here. I really like this. Oh, not a cell point, a factory. What is this? The bakery. So here is your bakery. You'll dump your grain there and then the pallets will come out as a marked zone. Oh, I'm going to be crashing left and right. So, keep coming out of here. I think what I'll do is put, no, we're not going to do any cuts. We'll just keep it all raw footage. So, you know, I kind of like this map. I do actually kind of like this map. I think it would be good for a multiplayer not good for big equipment but the fields aren't really huge so that's not a real problem but with how narrow these roads are I definitely say no to big equipment I mean I'm sure you can make it work if you turned off traffic or something 
I can barely drive a truck down the road. We are also flying right now. So we already checked out all that. That's the store. Keep going this way. Not sure what we're going to run into. Let's pull up the map here and take a look. So to our right is our main farm. We'll be able to check that out. Probably shouldn't be driving this fast down this road. Hopefully Rusty's stone out here. We'll probably get pulled over. Anyway, let's head in here. This is our main farm. This is where all of our equipment is and whatnot. We do own a lot of fields around here, so we'll take a look at that. Um, yeah, so I do like this map. This map isn't a bad map. Good thing these light poles are not collisions. So, all right, here's our barn. A little shed here, silo, more sheds auto feed as well here's some of our equipment uh, we might as well get out and walk around so sheep over here I would say let's see if I'm right this is sheep yep so I was correct over here is where your wool comes out at um, we'll go that way here in a second shed 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 cow barn um, more sheds a lot of sheds lots and lots of sheds more sheds over here what is this is this horses Yep, horses. Here's like a seed place where you can get seed or mineral feed out of. Uh, more sheds here. What we got here? Another shed. More equipment. Another bunker silo. I do like this. It's all nice, packed and tight together. No wasted space. I really like the layout. I mean, it's a little crowded, but there is a lot of storage places here for you. So here's diesel, liquid fertilizer, um, what's back here, another shed, another cow barn. For the amount of space that is here and all the equipment and stuff, here's solid fertilizer, another bunker silo. It's really laid out very well. Um, over here is our chicken coop and it holds 600 chickens. 600 absolutely crazy here's the house you have a dog let's just fly around and look at all the stuff that's packed into this small little space so here's the road coming in here's the house chickens cows here cows there the way this is all laid out there's like so much stuff in just some little small area which is pretty cool it's so like cramped you see all the stuff fit into this small area you know i like the layout of it because in real life you want to have as much stuff in the amount of space that you can get obviously so i like it i do like it um let's take a look at the field so field 90 47 grand 37 grand 33 62 44 54 13 and 36 for the main farm let's see where's the other main farm down here this farm is only 45,000. This farm over here is only 37. So down here is 53. I want the farm. This one's only 23,000. This one's only 28,000. This one's only 18,000. So, yeah, definitely very cheap. Like fields here 72, 95, 59, 30, 94. Like all the fields are super cheap not too bad not very high price like I think the most expensive fields probably mm, let's see where's like a bigger field that's not even that big 136,000 that's probably the most expensive one 135 116 112 so like the fields really aren't that big but they're really not that much how much this one 99 so like the most expensive is like 136,000 but there are a ton of fields on this map. To farm every field on this map would be absolutely impossible. So many. 128 fields. Alright, so we already drove around the map a little bit. So save a little time. Let's just jump around. So we have our oil mill up here. Um, dump your stuff in here. Over here is how you activate it or in the menu. Pallets will spawn out here. We come right down the road to the tailor shop. Tailor shop here, you can buy it from this point, unload your wool or whatever, and here is your clothing. 
Um, and back here is where your products will spawn down at. Let's see, right here is another main farm. We might as well just run down there. This may take a second, but we'll get there sooner than you guys know it. So, so far, what do you guys think of the map? I am liking it. I'm going to take a drink of water here because my mouth is super dry. But, yeah, I'm liking the map so far, honestly. It's not really my style, but it's not bad. It's kind of pretty cool of a map. I do like it. So, here is the other farm. More sheds, obviously. Sheds everywhere. Silos and whatnot. Sheds, sheds, sheds. I don't think there's any animals here, though. Yeah, this is all of it. We'll fly around here. Not fly, but build mode. So, this is one of, like, a smaller farm. No animals. Just a small little area it does have a silo and some buying stations for seed or for fertilizer and seed over here as well. Yes, yeah, seed, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, herbicide. So got all that. Um, not bad. Not a bad little farm here. Can we jump over to this one? Can't jump over here, can we? So it looks like this is another double. We'll just fly around it. So. Save a little time because I don't want this video to be too long. So here's the other farm here. This one's another big one. Cow barn. Pig pasture here. I think the pig pasture is bigger than the farm. Manure heap for this one. A couple sheds here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. If we keep going this way, we'll check this out. But here's like the grocery store sub point. Um, keep coming down this way. Wish I could fly. This would make things easier. Here's the carpentry, and then back over here there is the dairy. So here's where you unload your product at, and then here's where your stuff will come out as well. Um, keep going. Fly mode actually, or build mode actually, is pretty nice for this. So let's head up this way because we can kind of like fly around although it's not like flight mode. We can fly around and take a look. So here's the edge of the map. Here's the fields. Field's not too big. Not too small. Kind of like the perfect size field. Back here is another farm. We have our cow barn here. This is another bigger one. We have the sheep, horses, um, pigs. I don't see any chickens though. Are there any chickens here? Sheds and whatnot, back here. Got a steep entrance up to the steep exit and entrance there, and then there's another one over here that's kind of not as steep. Um, what's back here? There's a, something else back here. Back in the back corner, looks like a grape processing unit, so you'll put your grapes in there, and then your raisins or grape juice will come out there. But yeah, what do you guys think? I'm liking this map. I am liking this map. We'll keep going over here. Right here we have uh, the spinnery. Weren't we already over here? I'm getting kind of lost at where we're, we've been at and where we are. Keep coming down this road here. We have not been here. This looks like a cell point. Nice, nice little cell point here. And then back here is another cell point. Oh, this is the animal daily. That's what it is. So this is probably a bale cell point, and then this would be where you get your animals at. Alright, if we keep coming down this way, we have not been down here yet. This looks like a cereal factory, which it is. Yep, this is the cereal factory. We'll bring the goods there to make cereal and the grain metal. Two for one there. Oh, keep coming this way, take a look at some of these phones, not too bad. There's another farm area over here. This one looks a little bit more open, kind of, at least from up here. But it is another big one that has all the cow barns. So really, whenever you think about it, these are very cheap because you're getting all of these sheds, all of the barns, and the land for only like, some of them are only like 30, 40,000. So just a shed alone will cost more than that. Like this, this building right here costs more than 40,000. So you're basically playing for one building and getting all of these other ones for free, so that's pretty cool. Has pigs there. Um, I don't know if this one has cows. I know it has sheep here. 
But I'm not seeing any cows. It looks like just pigs, sheep, sheep. Is this one horses or two sheep? It looks like two sheep. No horses. Oh, horses back here. And then pigs, but no cows. No cows or chickens here. So this is the one by Field 114. Um, if we come over this way, what's over here? Have we been here? Yep, yeah, we already checked that out. So it looks like we're heading up towards like the top right corner of the map. So over here we have another cell point. I like this cell point, it looks pretty nice. Keep going up this way, I'm not sure if there's anything else over here. Oh, there's something back here. Oh, we already checked this out. Yep, we were already down here, so that's all of that over there. Keep coming up this way. Gotta say, this isn't a bad map. It really isn't. So this is the main farm. Or not the main farm, but the one first. Yeah, this is the main farm, isn't it? No, this is the first farm we came to. That's right. We've already been there. Let's keep going up this way, see if we have anything else to look at. Lots of fields. That's one thing. There are a ton of fields out here. Alright, let's hop out of here and take a look at the map and see what I missed. So we went and we went over everything because we were down here, we went over that. Um we stopped there, we went there, we went there. Right now we're flying up around here, so we would have came back in there. So yeah, I think we touched on everything. There's forestry up here that you can buy. Same thing with right here. I think it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I think this is a very um, big map. Well, it's not a very big map, but it's a pretty big map with a lot of stuff um, shoved into it. So, like, trying to pack your suitcase, trying to get a lot of stuff into a little thing. So, I mean, I do like it, though. I definitely would play on this map. It would be a map I'd play on. I'd give it a... I give it a 9 out of 10. I like this map. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. But I like it. I would definitely play on this map. I would not be opposed to playing on this. Will I play on it? Probably not. But would I play on it? Probably. But yeah. Definitely do like it. I definitely would play on it. But probably not going to play on it. Just don't have the time. So let me know if you like the map. What you rate it. And if I should start doing some more mod reviews again map tours not mod reviews map tours but anyway guys hopefully you guys all have a great rest of your day night morning whatever time it is for you guys have a good one and thanks for watching